Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Kotlin on your Windows 11 operating system. So first of all, Kotlin requires Java for its functioning. So first you need to install Java. So let's see how we can install Java and then we are going to see how we can install Kotlin. So for that, first of all, open your favorite browser and search for Java JDK download. And the first link which will appear here will be from oracle.com forward slash java forward slash technologies forward slash download. So just click on this link. I'm going to provide this link in the description of this video also. So you can directly come to this website. And here you just need to scroll down. At the time of making this video, Java 17 is the latest version which is available for download. So when you scroll down, you will see the option to uh, download the Linux binaries or the Mac OS binaries or the Windows binaries, right? So we are going to select Windows from here and then we are going to select the exe option here. So just select the link which is in front of the installer option here. So click on this uh, link here. So just wait for the download to complete. And once this exe file is downloaded, I'm going to click on this exe file and let me minimize my browser. So first of all, you will see this kind of window which says, do you want to allow this app to make changes on your device? I trust this app, so I will click on yes. And now I can see the Java JDK installer has been started on my Windows 11 operating system. So here you just need to click on the next button. And this will be the default location where Java will be installed on your Windows 11 operating system. Just remember this location. So by default, it's installed in C, then program files, then it's going to create a Java directory in program files folder. And then there will be a JDK 17 folder or the name of the folder will be the version of JDK you are installing, right? So if you want to change this path, just uh, click on change and then uh, change the destination. Otherwise, if you don't have the good reason to change this location, just leave it as default and then click on next, which is going to start the installation of Java on your Windows 11 operating system. So at this point, you just need to wait for uh, this process to complete. And in few seconds, you can see the Java JDK has been installed on my Windows 11 operating system. So I'm going to close this window. That means Java is installed on my Windows 11 operating system, but still I have to do a few things. First of all, I'm going to just go to the location where Java is installed. So just uh, open your folder explorer and then uh, go to the C directory. And then I'm going to go to the program files where Java folder is created. And then in my case, JDK 17.0.1, uh, is created in your case this folder name version can be different so just go uh, to this folder right now in order to set the environment variable for java what you need to do you can just click on the search icon once again and then just type edit env here which is going to show you this result which says edit environment variable for your account and it's going to open this kind of window you can also open this edit environment variable using control panel. So you can search for uh, control panel and then just view by category here and then click on system and security, then click on system. And then once the system window opens, you can click on advanced system settings and then click on environment variables, which is also going to show you the same window, right? So, you can choose any method to open this uh, environment variable window. And once this is open, you need to click on the path environment variable under system variables and then click on edit. And here you need to add the path to your JDK folder binaries. So go to the folder where we have installed Java until a JDK folder and then click on uh, bin folder. So we need to go inside the bin folder inside this JDK folder and then copy the path, right? So until bin and then copy this path from here, go to uh, the environment variable window once again, and then you can double click here or you can click on new, which is go also going to show you this option. 
and then just paste this path until bin and then press enter which is going to add this path to your environment variables so click on ok so your java environment variable is set now some application also needs the java home environment variable on your windows operating system to uh, run them so let me show you how you can set the java home environment variable also so you can go at the top under user variable uh, section and then click on new here and then the variable name you need to provide here is java underscore home everything is capital just write whatever i have written here everything is in capital and the variable value will be the folder which we have opened which is uh, jdk folder so don't go inside the bin folder in this case just copy the path until jdk folder you don't need to go inside the bin folder in this case okay and then just paste this path under variable values okay so you can see there is no bin folder added here only the path until the jdk folder click on ok and then click on ok and then click on ok which is going to set the environment variable for java on your windows 11 operating system now once you have installed java and set the environment variables you can use java on command line so you can uh, just open the command prompt by typing cmd once again and then i can type java space hyphen uh, version here and it's going to show me the version of java so you can see java version 17.0.1 is installed on my windows 11 operating system so once Java is installed on your Windows 11 operating system, let's start downloading and installing Kotlin. So for that, open your favorite browser and search for Kotlin. And the first link which will appear here will be from kotlinlang.org. So we are going to click on this link, which will redirect you to a kotlinlang.org website. Here you will be able to see this get started button. So just click on this get started button, which will redirect you to this uh, get started web page. Here on the left hand side, you need to scroll down where you see uh, tools. So just click on tools. And here we want to download the compiler from here. And then under compiler, just click on command line compiler. So once you click on compiler, you will be able to see uh, the compiler options here also but you can also read this warning which says you don't uh, really require this command line compiler in order to uh, start using kotlin you can directly install intellij idea or android studio and start uh, programming kotlin on these two uh, ide and i have also created a video about installing and using kotlin with intellij idea so i will put the link in the description if you are interested you can watch that video also in this video we want to download the command line compiler right so here you're going to click on github releases link here and on this github page just scroll down you can see uh, the latest version at the time of making this video is 1.6.10 this can change in future and when you will scroll down here you will be able to see all the links to download kotlin so i'm going to click on the first link which is kotlin compiler 1.6.10 dot zip file which is around 67 megabyte file so once this zip file is downloaded i'm going to go to the location where it's downloaded you can see uh, it's downloaded here. So first of all, I want to extract this file. So I'm going to right click here and then I'm going to click on extract all, which is going to extract this file. First of all, I'm going to extract it uh, in the same folder and then I'm going to move the extracted folder. So now you can see this folder has been extracted. So let me close this. This is the folder which is extracted. And here you will be able to see uh, Kotlin C which stands for Kotlin compiler. And here you will be able to see a few files, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this uh, Kotlin C folder, which is inside my Kotlin compiler directory. So let me just cut it from here and let me go to the C directory. And I'm going to paste this folder here. So let me paste it here. 
you can see this Kotlin C folder is pasted on my C drive. So that's how you will know that uh, your Kotlin is in your C drive and the path is easy to remember. So once you have pasted this Kotlin C uh, directory here, go inside it and then once again go inside the bin directory. And we need to set the environment variables for Kotlin in order to use Kotlin command line. So just copy the path until the bin folder and then you just need to click on the search option and then search for environment variables. So when you type few letters of environment variables, you will be able to see this result which says added the system environment variables. Just click on this option which is going to open this kind of window. Here click on environment variables and then select path under system variables and then click on edit and here just click on new and then paste the path which you have copied until the bin directory right so this is essentially the path of this directory which we have copied and pasted it here once that's done click on ok ok and then click on ok so once you have set the kotlin environment variables we are ready to use Kotlin command line. Now once the environment variable for Kotlin is set, you just need to open your command prompt. So just search for CMD and then open the command prompt. And then you can start using Kotlin commands to compile and uh, uh, use Kotlin code using uh, this command line. So let's first of all check the version of Kotlin we have installed. So just write Kotlin space hyphen version and then press enter it's going to give you the version of kotlin which you have installed right so this is how you can install kotlin on your windows 11 operating system i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video